So to make uh, chickpea masala or uh, chana masala, uh, chana is a, a Hindi word uh, for chickpeas. Uh, all uh, the ingredients you uh, see is in uh, my previous videos, you would have seen my spice box where I put all my spices and keep it. So all you need is a big cumin and uh, cloves, bay leaves and uh, uh, some cinnamon, star anise and cardamom. And kasakasa, they call it in Tamil, and uh, uh, other masala. Uh, so, if you go uh, to the, any of the Asian uh, ale of uh, uh, grocery stores, uh, you get all these masalas, and um, otherwise, you can get it in the Indian shops. And uh, you need turmeric powder, garam masala, and everything in moderation uh, very little garam masala, maybe half a teaspoon of garam masala, half a teaspoon of. Uh, mm, uh, turmeric and some uh, half a teaspoon of uh, jeera powder salt to taste and one heaped spoon of coriander powder and uh, you need onion and uh, tomato paste i've got a store bought tomato uh, paste in the container which i put it in an other plastic container and uh, ginger garlic paste i need uh, uh, only one spoon of ginger garlic paste or half a teaspoon of ginger garlic paste because the masala should not overpower it and some chilies because i'm i'm not added any chili powder and uh, the uh, taste uh, taste is from the garam masala the hotness is hot and spiciness is from the chilies i am going to use and the garam masala uh, and i've got your lemon i might need a half a lemon or a lemon juice or a lemon juice first i've soaked um, the chickpeas and uh, i boil the chickpeas i'm boiling it i'm going to boil it in a pressure cooker cooker over boil it and uh, uh, after boiling it you need to open the pressure cooker let it cool and then open it because uh, so you need to boil it with like three to four vessels you could not uh, mash it um so that you can see the chickpeas as chickpeas and uh, then put the pan uh, in the stove and add some oil after adding oil let it get warm so once the oil is hot you can start putting your masalas like the full uh, masala um, if you do not uh, like the taste of the masalas stick to the ga garam masala powder you don't have to uh, uh, have it and so, uh, some people um, uh, well most of the people uh, make uh, uh, the onion and tomato as a paste um, I uh, as I I like the crunchiness uh, and the really cooked uh, onion in my dish uh, so it gets smashed so um, I don't I didn't make uh, onion in the paste to be honest, uh, um, I have to go pick my kids from school. So I just thought like before I go, I should uh, quickly do this. And um, you can make it as a paste. If you want to make it as a paste, you can make it as a paste. And uh, then as this is uh, cooking, uh, you need to add some ginger garlic paste. So I put very little ginger garlic paste because you do not want the masala to overpower your dish and uh, once this is cooking then i need to add my tomato paste and my masalas so as uh, this is uh, getting the onion is getting cooked with the uh, whole ma masalas i've added the salt because as i t uh, tell you in my other videos um salt helps uh, the onion to cook fast and uh, so this needs to be do not burn it and i've added two chilies uh, with my thing because i'm not adding any chili powder so just added chilies as you can uh, see i've not slit my chilies i've uh, added the chilies uh, as a whole chili uh, sometimes when it gets cooked it gets mashed with the onion and the tomato paste and now i need to add the tomato paste uh, so for uh, one uh, one uh, onion you add two tomatoes and because I'm adding it to a tomato paste, the half a container of the tomato paste I'm adding. So let this get cooked because you can smash when you uh, smash the uh, onion. Um, if you have not uh, put the onion and uh, grinded it, you can smash it. And it gets smashed. Uh, as it gets cooked, it gets smashed. And in the meantime, take uh, the chickpeas earlier. Take half of the chickpeas and you need to mash the chickpeas and keep it. 
and I'm taking the half of the chickpeas and mash it. So you don't have to half only a spoon of uh, chickpeas. You have to take it and mash it well because uh, it will uh, give a thick consistency to the chickpea curry. Only little like maybe a spoonful of uh, chickpeas and uh, mash it well. The remaining uh, chickpeas are still here and you can drain the water and uh, as this is getting cooked uh, while because i'm doing a multitasking over here and uh, while you uh, mash this with a spoon you can add the garam masala because this is getting cooked so garam masala turmeric coriander powder and uh, the cumin powder and a little bit of salt okay and uh, add it with for your uh, thing for the base curry so you can see the uh, onion getting uh, really cooked well and also it gets smashed. Uh, you wouldn't see when it gets really cooked, you wouldn't see a piece of onion. Um, uh, do make it uh, as a paste if you need to because uh, it gives also a thick consistency for your curry. And uh, you need to smash this well and then add it to this uh, base and put the... Uh, Mm, stove in a low flame so i've not added any uh water to my uh, curry yet so i'm just going to uh, filter it like that no water so when you are uh, boiling the chickpeas in the pressure cooker or in a, any saucepan just add some water so that the chickpeas can get uh, sorry add some uh, salt so that uh, the salt can get into the chickpeas so you need to drain it and then uh, add it to your curry paste so I have not added any any water uh, until now. You can see the tomato is oozing the water because at the end you might, I might have to add some uh, cream and uh, that's a form of a water. So I am not going to add and I have not added my mashed chickpeas yet. Okay. So you need to I need to add uh, all the chickpeas, filter it uh, with the, all the water and put it here. As I doing it here, as uh, I need to be um sauteing it so that the masala can be in all the chickpeas so after adding all the chickpeas uh you need to add the uh, smashed uh, chickpea as well uh, so that the masala gets uh, into the smashed uh, uh, chickpeas as well so this is kind of uh, add base for the curry thick base for the curry so and uh, saute it and you can add either the uh, water that you boil the chickpeas because it's got a little bit of salt content and I've uh, got a salt in my, when I've added the onion, uh, onion to the oil, I put the salt. So you need to be very mindful of the uh, adding salt because uh, if I'm going to add the same water, um, so I'm, I'm not going to add the same water because uh, I put the added the salt uh, already. So I'm just going to add a uh, water. Yeah. So very little water I need to add because uh, uh, you can finish the curry with uh, cream and uh, coconut cream or uh, store bought cream. Uh, let it boil. Let the masala and the salt everything get inside the chickpeas. Let it boil and uh, as you see I am not added uh, uh, much water. So as this getting cooked squeeze some lemon half a lemon take off all the seeds from the lemon and do not have the seed and uh, this gives a nice sweet and sour taste you can add uh, two spoons of sugar at this stage um, for a sweet and uh, sour taste um, uh, it's it's uh, it's optional sugar is optional if you want a curry to be little mild you can add uh, uh, sugar because i'm adding a cream uh, i've got a store-bought uh, coconut cream here uh, so I'm adding a coconut cream or uh, you can even add coconut milk or cream and this is a thin uh, coconut cream so I'm adding and uh, yeah that's a chickpeas and uh, let it boil for other three to four minutes and your uh, mm, chickpea curry or chana masala is ready to be served um, so let it uh, cook for other two to three minutes so after this getting cooked look how much thick because you have uh, smash the chickpeas and put it it's really thick and um, this chickpea curry can be served with rice roti or um, any kind of breads and naans it's so yum um, oh, it's the, the smell is so good let me taste it it's a bit hot
Well, it's so yum. That's really, really yum. Hmm. Wow. It's really yum. Yum. So that's my chickpea curry. Come on, let's have a lunch. And uh, thanks for watching, guys. And uh, um, when you're cooking, always uh, learn to cook with the slow and medium flame, not the high flame. Uh, because you don't want uh, to burn any of your masalas or any of your um, onions or anything. And uh, yeah, do uh, subscribe, like, share, comment and subscribe on my videos. And um, until we meet with the next recipe, bye for now and stay safe everyone. So this is, uh, I'm going to eat uh, my chickpea curry with my paratha. I'm just making it. I always keep it in a low flame. I burnt one paratha. This is not burnt. So, yeah. Uh, that's my lunch is sorted. And, uh, yeah, I'll eat three parathas. So, that's my paratha making and this.